think that's like an actual old uh, Gatorade thing. Good morning. Good morning. That is cool. Two dollars. I don't think you can go wrong with two bucks on that. Sold. Ah, habits. Construct a car. A dollar for both. A dollar for both. Wow, look at that thing. Alright, I think I will take the cooler. How much are the Kiss Pez was? Five. Five bucks. Never been opened. Never been opened. Um, I'll take them for... Four? Four? That's okay. mad. That was All good. How much for the speakers? $20, the whole thing. Does that include the thing in the bottom? Yeah. Um, you wouldn't take 15 this early, would you? 15's good. 15's good? I'll do it. I don't just get 12, I'll get a 30 for 16. 15. Yeah. What's in the bag? There's a knife set. It's like a... Thank you. How much are your shoe thing, majiggies? The what thingy? The cedar shoe um, holders, structures. I guess four bucks. Four bucks for all of them? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's four bucks for all of them. Oh, I should have said five. <laughs> Damn. How y'all doing? We're good. How are y'all? Doing good. It's easy today. Yes, that's true. Yeah. We got hot. We got a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it. I had it in the car for a while. Was fucking up tires. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Inflate all cold. Mm. Aren't you re asking for it? Five bucks. Um, no, yeah. I don't think so. It's nice though. I know. Well, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, the box is neat. How much was the first aid kit? Three. Three. Hard to turn down, isn't it? Yeah. Be a nice little one to put. In the truck. It would be. Yeah, it will eventually come to me. I'll give it three dollars. <laughs> Did you buy anything? That's a good picture, but I'm not kidding. I got so much. That's a good looking picture. Man, we love dogs. So, thank you. Thank you. 
You got Louis Vuitton? I did. Good morning. How much were you asking on your blade, blade pads? Well, I'd like to get $50. Uh, somebody, a carpenter, just told me that that's well worth that. So oh, okay. Pay a lot. They're brand new. Oh, uh, yeah. We have one. Hummingbirds don't come. It's a fireplace. $15? Very small fireplace. Yeah, that makes sense. Fireplace, all you do, if it's something you're interested in, you squirt that in there and flame it. Really? Yep, yeah, and it gives a pretty blue frame. Oh. We had it in the inside in our screen porch. It was lovely at night. And it actually gives a lot of heat, too. Yeah. It's small, though. That is cool. Yeah, I, I bought it, and I just never... All right, back from the yard sales and it was pretty decent stuff. I know there's not a lot on this table, but some really good profits and some things, uh, not so much, kind of got lied about or lied to about one thing. Let's go ahead and start uh, over here. This one right here is pretty cool. Anything that I can get for like, that says Coleman on it for $5, I usually buy it and that's like my rule of thumb. Coleman inflate all 90. There is, I think a 150 also that goes for like 20 bucks. I still think this one also goes for 20 bucks. And it's basically all the wires look good. Nothing looks dry rotted. It is older. And, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is still gonna work. And again, easy 20 bucks, got it for uh, $5. And then if you look at first aid kits, I have sold multiple metal box first aid kits. Now this one right here has some contents in it. Actually, it has a lot of contents in it. And I'm pretty sure the guy won't sell any of this. I might actually keep this. We just bought a small little John boat that we're um, trying to redo. And I will probably keep this for the boat, to be honest with you. So that's the reason why I bought it in a nice little thing. I'll probably put it in like a waterproof case or something. But these, if you find the metal ones, I actually found one from World War II that sold very quickly, I think for 75 bucks, just the box. So whenever you see metal boxes for fair state kits, definitely comp them out. Sometimes they can be worth some money. The next right here are cedar shoe trees. These things are awesome. Especially, they always sell for me for $10. I got all these for $4, which is insane. Most of them match. These two are the only ones that do not, do not match. So you're talking like 10 20 30 40 50 dollars just in shoe trees what you can do is put them all on a lot and sell them as a lot or sell them individually i haven't really decided what i'm going to do yet i usually throw them up for a bid if i do the whole lot and i would probably start to you know that at like 40 bucks and see where they go but definitely if you ever see these you can get them for cheap definitely pick them up because i got them for like what it was 50 cents no a little more than 50 cents a pair so that's really not too bad then the bows this one I, I actually just sold one of these for parts and I'm going to say that this one's not going to work. It doesn't pass the shake test and when I do the shake test, I want that thing that always opens, but there's something rattling inside that thing. But uh, on the, I actually just sold one of these for parts and it still sold for 10 bucks and I got all this for 15. So that wasn't too bad. I think he wanted $20 and I talked him down to 15 and these are pretty neat. These have those uh, red line bows. It's a mounting, obviously it's like, it has a mount right there. And if these are bows mounting systems right here, they also can go for some money. So just the mounts on these things can go for money. But the speakers themselves, usually two sells for about 60 bucks uh, somewhere in there, $50 plus shipping or 60. So all these together, easy $100 bill. I have to see if I'm going to split them up or sell them all together. Most likely, I'm probably going to sell them all together because I think I can get $100 plus shipping on them. And then the Gatorade. I actually thought somewhere I saw on Instagram, YouTube, somewhere that these old Gatorade things are worth some money. This one is older, made in the United States. Uh, I think it's a Rubbermaid, has the Gatorade logo right there. Turns out not worth as much as I thought, only worth like 
maybe 19, 15 to $19 plus shipping. There is a seven gallon one that's worth about 50 to 60 with the Gatorade logo. So that might be something you, you know, be on the lookout for. But this one, I got it for $2, not complaining, but not too good. These, I was like, oh, these things have got to be a uh, really cool kiss. Pez, you know, brand new, probably worth, I was thinking in my brain, like, you know, 15, 20 bucks be brand new. That's what she said it was brand new and I believed her. Turns out this has been opened 100%, unsealed. And then in here, there should be the Pezes, right, right there, the actual Pezes. Turns out these have been used. I think there's actually Pezes in one of them. I don't really know. Let's take a look. No, no Pez. No, no Pez. All right, so maybe these haven't been used, but they took the Pezes out. But these actually are really not worth anything. Uh, they could be worth maybe like three to four bucks. I'll list them anyway for that much money and hopefully just get my money back. All right, so let's go on the whiteboard and what I think I'm going to make. So we only spent $33 on everything, which is super cheap for me because usually I'm up in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But I think I'm going to make $225 in potential sales. Now, remember, a lot has to come out of that. So I always take 20% of fees and 20% of that should be that, which is $180. You have to then go ahead and deduct how much you spent, which is $33. And that equals $147 in net profit. If you follow the arrow over here, five hours of work super easy i'm gonna just that one bose thing for parts i did just look up it does go for like a hundred dollars working so i will pro probably buy a cord for that just to see if it works if not i'll sell it for parts it goes for like 16 dollars in parts uh but super easy stuff not anything that really has to be cleaned a lot i mean we're gonna do like five listings and be done so five hours of work that includes how much time it took to go get this stuff shipping listing all that stuff only five hours but that equals $29.40 an hour, and that really ain't too bad. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Bearded Thrift Machine. Here on YouTube, I buy stuff, flip it online, and make YouTube videos about it. So right there, it's everything I bought on a couple yard sales on a Saturday. We had a pretty good day on Saturday, and I kind of chopped it up to a couple little ones. And uh, this one, not too bad. The, the shoe trees, a lot of people leave those behind, but I'm telling you right now, the cedar ones, they do sell for me all the time, $10 a piece, plus shipping or $10 a pair plus shipping. They are, and they usually overlook the yard sales and also the lady with the kiss stuff. I mean, you have to really pay attention when you go to yard sales. A lot of people use the word brand new very loosely at yard sales. And I still have not like got myself to like try to open things and make sure they're brand new. Like the kiss thing should have realized there were no Pez inside the Pez machines. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, just make sure when you're at yard sales and somebody says brand new, like the one lady said the blades were brand new and they were all open. Now maybe those blades were brand new, but I think they were also missing some. It's just one of those things, definitely take a look at when people say stuff is brand new, definitely actually look at it and don't be like me. I do appreciate everybody that's been watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.